Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we review the huge fixture from St. James's Park where out of firm Newcastle host Manchester City, the champions hoping to close the gap at the top of the Premier League. A big team news for Manchester City and Pep Guardiola as Kevin De Bruyne is back on the bench and will get involved at some stage of the game. Pep makes two changes to their side from the victory over Sheffield United. Jeremy Doku and Ruben Diaz is back in the playing 11. Team news, Ederson is on the goal, Kyle Walker on the right, Ruben Diaz and Nathan Ake as centre-halves, Osko, Wadiol as the left-back, Rodri and Matteo Kovacic as the midfield too, Bernardo Silva, Phil Foden and Jeremy Doku as the other midfield three, and Julian Alvarez as a striker with hurling Ireland injured, missing the last nine games in all competition. Newcastle are in this game, coming in with a poor run of form, losing five games of the six games in the Premier League. Eddie Howe is making two changes to the side that has been beaten at Liverpool. Almiron and Kieran Trapier are back in the side. They've been poor defensively and in the midfield recently. Very unlikely of Eddie Howe's Newcastle side that we know from the last season. They need to improve, avoid those gaps in the midfield for Manchester City to exploit. They need to come out pressing and applying all the pressure if they want to take something off this game from Manchester City. They need to play in front foot all the way. Don't play back foot at all in this game like they've always done under Eddie Howe. Newcastle fans have always backed them and they will be their 12th man today. Team news, Martin Dubroca on the goal, Trippier on the right, Fabian Schaar and Sven Botman as the centre-backs with Dan Barn on the left. Louis Miley, Bruno Guimaraes, Sean Longstaff at the midfield with Miguel Almiron, Alexander Isaac and Anthony Garden as the front three. Newcastle are 10th place today. Newcastle did beat Manchester City in the cup match at the same venue during September. They have not beaten City in a single season twice for over 40 years. Well, that's the record to be broken. Newcastle need to get stuck and play like what they did in the cup tie. Manchester City are chasing top place in the Premier League. They're currently third place with 40 points. A victory here at St. James's Park will take them to second place as they will be looking for a third straight win in the Premier League. First half, Newcastle trying to break the Manchester City high back line. An early break has been flagged offside with the VAR. The goal is not allowed. Ederson seems to be injured with the collision with Kyle Walker. Well, it's an encouraging start for the home side. A mistake at the back with the ball played back to Ederson. Newcastle haven't capitalized on it at all. Ederson has to be replaced with the injury. The German goalkeeper Ortega comes on for Ederson early in the first half. His second of the Premier League start and his overall seventh appearance for Manchester City. Well, a lot of good touches for the Manchester City players. They are keeping the ball as expected a lot in the midfield with Rodri and Kovacic playing very close by. A spell of sustained possession for Manchester City in the middle of the park with Bernardo Silva and Phil Foden having the license to move all over the pitch. This is the 15th time Eddie has gone against Pep Guardiola in his career and has got only one better of him. That's the League Cup tie back in September. Just one move on the right from Trippier for Newcastle, a pass from Almiron and a cross is made by Isaac. But good defending there by Ruben Diaz. The fans are behind Newcastle there. Wadiol got caught again for space with Almiron. Newcastle are having some good time on the right side of the pitch for them today. A very nice move on the left this time from Jeremy Doku. Gets a very nice counter-attacking pass from Rodri. Manchester City is able to move in so quickly in the midfield they're able to find their prayers so attractively ball falls to Bernardo Silva and the goal was at his mercy and he blasts over the bar Newcastle midfield of Longstaff Lewis and Bruno Goodmarvis are playing very close to each other closing down the space but Manchester City is getting into the pocket of the space between the midfield three and the center box that is being 
nicely exploited by Manchester City players during the first half. Scoreline somehow still shows 0-0, but Manchester City have a greater win probability with the first half start so far. But Newcastle are at home today and they've done good at home in the past as well and they would like to continue that today as well. Manchester City are so good at keeping the ball. They're playing very quickly. It's a very well-balanced team. They keep the ball, allowing Newcastle only on counter-attacking positions. Kyle Walker on the right, Watyal on the left. Both are very consistently going forward for City. That allows Jeremy Doku and Phil Foden to drift inside and causing more problem for the Newcastle defence. They need to contend with five, six Manchester City attacking players every time. They need their midfield to come back and support them as well. They've been pecked back defensively. Manchester City are really stretching Newcastle at this stage of the first half. Jeremy Doku with a nice ball outright. Kyle Walker with a lot of space there. Gets an excellent low cross in the danger area and a lovely finish there from Bernardo Silva. It's an exquisite uh, finish with back of his left foot. Bernardo Silva drifts inside this time, causing more problems for Newcastle with Foden at his side. The passing has been great and an absolute masterclass finish there. Newcastle 0, Manchester City 1. Newcastle hasn't been able to foray forward at all as they would like to at home. Kieran Trippier crosses on the right has been missing. There's no service at all for Isaac. But that's the kind of authority Manchester City have had in this game so far with the ball possession and creativity. They're getting so many players up front, making it so difficult for Newcastle to defend. Phil Foden and Bernardo Silva have been drifting in so many areas in the first First half. Newcastle players are really trying to defend as much as possible. Another mistake, this time ball falls to Alvarez. He finds Bernardo Silva. A shot is saved by Dubrovka this time and off the Newcastle bar. Well, Newcastle could have been severely punished there. The scoreline still reads Newcastle 0, Manchester City 1. Manchester City have been allowed to control this game. They've had 74% of the ball possession so far and they've already had 9 attempts on goal. 2 for Newcastle. That tells the story of the game so far. Newcastle needs to press higher. The best moments so far in the game have come for them when they pressed higher. They had three chances. They've allowed Manchester City to take control, staying back and let them play. This has to change. The quality of the game has been good for us to watch. Newcastle are not out of it yet. A goal here for Newcastle could bring them back into the game. Manchester City do have the history of relaxing and lazy at some point during the game. An excellent ball this time from Bruno Gamares from the midfield for Isak. He takes it very nicely and curls it past the German Ortega for Newcastle's first goal of the game. It's just a beauty of a finish from Isak there. He took his time picked his part and got it nicely. It was effortless first shot of the target for Newcastle. Is their utilizing goal as well? It's Newcastle 1, Manchester City 1. It's a level at St. James's Park and the game is definitely on here. The second time Isaac has scored for Newcastle against Manchester City this season. Last one coming up in the cup game when they won in the September month. A nice movement on the left this time from Anthony Gordon. Gets into the danger area. Carl Walker is there trying to stop him. He cuts the ball. He gets the curler. It's just again lands into the far right corner. It's another goal there for Newcastle. Lightning strikes again. Newcastle have thrillingly turned this game on its head. Newcastle 2, Manchester City 1. Again, it is the pressing. Isak this time winning the battle in the midfield. Carl Walker again exposed. The quality of the strike has been great. An in-swinging Carl Curler by Anthony Gordon. 2 minutes 19 seconds between the goals for Newcastle. 
First half today has been so entertaining. What a half of football we've witnessed so far. Just the pressing, those two tackles, two passes and two finishes has changed the game in favour of Newcastle so far. Another good ball for Isak this time from Lewis. Manchester City high back line is allowing Newcastle to play those passes for Isak to take. He's one on one with the German Ortega, but unable to capitalize that he's not able to beat him this time. What an opportunity it was to double the lead for Newcastle. They're looking much sharper at the whole half in the uh, they look so far. Botman and Shaw for Newcastle have come in more, reduced the gap existed between midfield and the centre backs. They've had more control of the game than they did in the first half. Those two goals have did more for Newcastle than for Manchester City. Eight minutes added on. Again, Newcastle winning those smaller battles, pressing quickly. This has made a big difference for Newcastle in the later stages of the first half. Since two goals, Newcastle have pressed higher, have made good tackles, won those first and second balls. Newcastle have won against Manchester City in uh, 832 Premier League games at the end of the first half. They do lead Manchester City 2-1. An exquisite Opening goal by Bernardo Silva, Isaac level, and then Gordon got the second for Newcastle to take the lead. Three quality goals in the first half. Newcastle lead Manchester City 2-1 at halftime. Second half, Newcastle have won once and drawn seven times in games they've conceded and taken lead this uh, season. Manchester City off like they did in the first half using their fullbacks Kyle Walker and Wadiol on both sides to go high and wide up the pitch. Manchester City having all the ball not allowing the home team any control whatsoever at the early stages of the second half. Newcastle are happy to sit and defend. Let Manchester City come on them and play on counter-attack. Dan Barn keeps himself very close to Phil Foden, not allowing him to take touch and turn, making it difficult for Manchester City players, not allowing the control or space they enjoyed in the first half. The midfield three of Newcastle, Miley Lewis, Bruno Longstaff are keeping themselves very narrow, not letting any space there for Manchester City, forcing them wide off the pitch, making them come via the wide areas. A good change, a good analysis from the Newcastle team. They have done their homework, a good strategy for Newcastle there to not to let Manchester City play the usual game with flair and creativity. Kevin De Bruyne is ready to come into the game now, last seen in the opening game of the English Premier League season for Manchester City at Turf Moor against Burnley. Injuring his hamstring and has been out since. He underwent a surgery and with a lengthy rehab is now ready to join the game again. He replaces Bernardo Silva after five long months. It's been a relentless attack of game on both the ends that has been the manner. Very fast paced game we've seen at St. James's Park so far. Alvarez blasts the ball way over the bar. It was a very good opportunity. He must hit the target there. Newcastle survive. Chances falling for Manchester City. They're missing them as well. It's still 2-1 in favor of the home team. Rodri finds De Bruyne in the middle of the park. He has a pocket of space, takes a straight mark, pass like shot and ball nestles into the bottom corner of the net. Marks his return to the Premier League stage, pulls his side back level, show what Manchester City has been missing all the season. He has been very impactful. De Bruyne finds that pocket of space right behind three Newcastle midfield players. That is all he needs to exploit and he punished Newcastle there with the equaliser. It's all about vision, the quality of the player. His first came back after five months and he gets Manchester City back into the game. A marvellous finish there from Kevin De Bruyne with just the fifth touch of the ball, 4.5 minutes into his return to the Premier League. 
Newcastle hasn't been able to find Isaac like they did in the first half, leading to two goals. More defending in the second half. City has more control of the game. Newcastle trying to hold on, stay in their defensive position. Manchester City equalizing goal against Newcastle is their 100th in the Premier League era. This game for Eddie Howe, his 650th as a manager, still has a lot to offer in this game and is perfectly balanced at 2-2. It still has more than 10 minutes of regulation time to play. Jeremy Doku, who is replaced by the 20-year-old Norwegian winger Oscar Bob, is a very talented young one, likes to go inside, create more danger for Newcastle there. Dubroika on the Newcastle goal has been excellent in this game. He's made some very good blocks and saves. He has distinguished himself in this game today with Pope's injury. Dubroika has been on the Newcastle goal and he's done a very good job. Manchester City in this game already had 59 touches in the Newcastle penalty box to Newcastle 22, but it has been the finishing for Newcastle with two that has made all the difference in the first half. Manchester City in the second half control the game completely. If the game remains 2-2, then Newcastle will still remain on 10th and City will remain 3rd in the Premier League table. Three minutes added on. An excellent ball this time from Kevin De Bruyne. He's able to find Oscar Bobby, controls it, gets past De Bruyne and tucks the ball into the goal. What a setup there from Kevin De Bruyne, the hallmark of champions. During the stoppage time, Manchester City are now ahead 3-2. De Bruyne finds Bob accurately, the ball over Trippier, controls the ball, timing of the run, a very quick feat there from Oscar Bob to get around De Bruyne for another late goal in the Premier League. The 20-year-old talented Bob from Norway gets his first goal in the English Premier League. What a way to open his goal there. It is Manchester City 2-3, Newcastle 2 it's the sixth defeat in the seventh Premier League games for Newcastle. This will be the sixth win in a row for Manchester City in all competition. They usually come out all out and take over the league. They've started that with a bomb and Kevin De Bruyne led win here. He got the goal and an excellent assist to make it 3-2. The master takes Manchester City to another excellent win, this time at St. James's Park at Newcastle and a very important three points away from home. Well, that's it from my side. Please provide your comments, subscribe to my channel for more such reviews. Until next time, take care.